Who would have thought that eating less was my breakthrough? I would prep my meals on a Sunday, spend like three hours, and even bought an extra freezer to make sure I could store them all. At the office, I was eating every two to three hours. I even spent more time on eating than spending time on my spreadsheets. Intermittent fasting made life so much easier for me. With one, I saved time because I was not eating every two hours. Two, I was spending less time thinking about food. Three, less time making the food. Four, I had more overview over my whole intake. It was just easier to track to track my macronutrients. And five, I lost a pound every week. If you also tried intermittent fasting, what were your results and what's your experience with it? Please share in the comments below this video. I've been doing intermittent fasting since 2016, but there's still I find it hard sometimes, especially when I wake up, you know? When I wake up, most of the time I'm just hungry. Or when it's time to eat, I would overeat and yeah, I will compensate all, it's all that I fasted for. So it's, it's not a win situation. Do you also sometimes struggle with intermittent fasting? I'm gonna give you five tips to make intermittent fasting easier for you. I got tip one, to fight the hunger pangs. To fight the hunger pangs, brush your teeth when you're hungry. It's safe to brush your teeth like three times a day. This will put a taste in your mouth and yeah, just keeps your mind off thinking about food. Two, to curb your appetite, drink black coffee. Coffee has energizing and appetite suppressing properties. And I got a pro tip for you. When you wait one hour, coffee will be even more effective in suppressing your appetite and giving you energy. This will allow your body to clear out the adenosine. Adenosine is a sleep inducing compound. Three, is to distract yourself. Do something you like, you know, like when I'm hungry, I go read a book or I play video games. I do things that I like. This also drives my dopamine system and yeah, I don't have to eat, you know. Sometimes eating is also about boredom, you know. Four, one hour at a time. Let's say you're hungry at 9 a.m. Just wait for one hour and it's 10, it's 10 a.m. It's easy to set small goals. You'll see that the hunger eventually goes away. Hunger comes in waves. My experience also confirms that. When I get hungry and the hunger goes away, that's when my energy goes up, you know, and my, my focus gets on. This is when I get in the zone and my dopamine levels start to get up and my body yeah, starts making energy for my reserves and I will feel energized and mentally super sharp until I get hungry again and then I can make choice to wait or just eat a small breakfast. I have to stay out of the kitchen if you can. For me staying out of the kitchen really helps. When I enter the kitchen feelings and thoughts of food and hunger comes by. This is also called as the cephalic phrase response. Correct me if I spell it wrong, but this is a reflex that kicks in at the sight, smell, or even thought of food. Your body anticipates that yeah, food is gonna come and already activates the hormones and enzymes in your stomach to digest food. And it, it's, it prepares your body for the food. But yeah, when you're fasting, you don't want that. You just want to fast longer, you know? And a bonus tip, take it slow. When I started out with fasting, I would extend my eating window for half an hour each week. In the beginning, I was just like really hungry, but extending my eating window half an hour each week allowed my body to, to adapt to fasting. I just relearned my body to burn reserves for energy. When you start out, Doing 18.6 right at the beginning, yeah, this can be a way to, uh, to fail for yourself because yeah, you will be really hangry, you know? Just start it out slowly, let your body adapt and let it get into your uh, rhythm, you know, into your routine. This way, it's easier to keep up long-term. That's what you want, right? Fat loss, looking good in the long-term. Yeah, if you find these tips helpful, please share with a friend so we can help each other out making life fat loss and weight loss easier. You would really help me out to make more of this content if you subscribed. And I would love to hear your own 
fasting hacks and experience. Please share them in the comments below. Enjoy your weight loss and I'll see you next time.